Hey guys. Hey guys, so I'm doing a vlog today, like a day in the life vlog. That's what I'm gonna do, hopefully, it's how it turns out. So it's Sunday morning, I'm driving. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I've been up for about 30 minutes. I am on my way to Walmart to grocery shop. I haven't grocery shopped in the store in a while. Like, not like this, but I'm on my way to go now. If you like vlogs and wanna see more, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. If I get to 10, when I get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna have a pretty cool giveaway, so. All right, let's go to the grocery store. Spaced out, spaced out. Listen, listen out. Spaced out, spaced out. Listen, listen out. So I have never seen this health area before. Have you seen it in yours? I checked online. It looks like there's only a few of them here in the state of Florida and there may be some in other states, but this was pretty cool. Okay, so it is now 9.23. So I guess it took me like an hour in there. Um, my budget was between 150 and $200. I went slightly over at 206, however, that's because Greg told me I needed oil for my car. He all of a sudden needed soap. And those were not things that were included in my grocery list. So technically I didn't go over my grocery budget. I was actually under. So um, anyway, so I'm gonna head home now so we can put these groceries up, my least favorite part. Um, and I'm gonna include the grocery haul here in this video. I'm not gonna do a separate video. So here we go. start over here i got this four pack of these microwavable mashed potatoes i really like to eat these for a quick lunch i add a little bit of like seasoning so good i got a taco seasoning packet a chicken gravy mix packet two boxes of the family size zatarans i usually only do one but greg wanted me to double it so he could take some to his friend at work he said the way i add stuff to it makes it better i don't know uh, i mean it is good but i don't do much anyway so that's there's that i also got a can of the corned beef hash just heat and serve greg loves this when we have breakfast for dinner pecan spin wheels for greg our favorite thick and chunky salsa medium i got some paper plates because i don't like to do dishes um 16 ounces of shell pasta and 16 ounces of zita zita <laughs> ziti they did not have like any other boxes of pasta so i had to go with those um, I got these, get these all the time. Great value chicken wings. This is the Asian style seven spice dry rub. Those are our favorites. Uh, low sodium bacon, a uh, one pound of ground beef, just the ground chuck. Greg's cookies, the Chewy Chips Ahoy with Reese's. New Orleans, Johnsonville, New Orleans sausage. I use these in the jambalaya. I got myself a couple bags of chopped salad kits, the Southwest which has green cabbage, green leaf lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, green onions, tortilla strips, cheddar cheese, and chipotle ranch dressing. And then I wanted to try this one, which is the Taylor Farms Buffalo Ranch Chop Kit. It's got romaine, red and, I'm sorry, red and savoy cabbage, broccoli, green onion, carrots, buffalo season, crouton crumbles, Monterey Jack cheese with buffalo ranch dressing. For Greg, you guys see this all the time. He loves the the Great Value Crystal Light, one that makes the pitchers. This is for Greg, his Ultra Monster, Ultra Zero Sugar. They actually had a 12-pack of like a variety. 
which is kind of, I don't ever see this. It's got the Zero Ultra, the um, Ultra Gold, the Ultra Fiesta Mango, and then the Ultra Rose, Rosa. So these are the only tater tots my store had. Um, they're the, what are they? The Lamb Weston Super Crispy Tots. Greg wanted tater tots, and these were the only ones they had. I got these because I wanted to try them. They're the Ritz Ranch Toasted Chips. I also got Greg. You don't have to be quiet. I mean, it's a vlog. I also got Greg the Sara Lee Butter Bread. I got a 12 count of eggs. Santitas Chips. We use these for taco salads. Um, I got the value size of the chicken broth for a recipe. I also got, we were going to have these for lunch today. They're the French Bread Three Meat Red Baron Pizzas. Greg likes to make these in the air fryer. These are for me for lunches, the veggie pasta rotini alfredo and the veggie pasta penne with cheddar cheese sauce. I also like the marinara, but they were out. I talk about these all the time. They are so good. You can put like, if you want like a meat in them, you could cut up like chicken nuggets or some kind of chicken strip. You could do anything. These are so good. Um, okay, we needed lots of cheese this time. So I got mozzarella cheese, the triple cheddar cheese, Parmesan and a bigger bag of the Fiesta blend. I also got two of these for me, American style pasta salad with chicken. This is with bacon ranch dressing. They are both the same. I love these little kits and they're really good. I got these for Greg, so that's 18 count. These are the variety chips that he gets. So I got those. Let me bring you on over here. Chicken breast. My store had a sign that said, please limit to two. So, but I only needed one. So you got six big boneless, skinless chicken breasts and I'll like cut them up and do all that. All right, over here, we've got some cream of chicken soup, a can of diced tomatoes, some light sour cream, cream cheese for a recipe, cream cheese for some bagels that I have in the freezer, minced garlic, three russet potatoes, a red onion, a yellow onion, mustard ketchup. This is the soap that Greg wanted. So, you know, I'd let him get what he wants. He's the one that's got to bathe in it. But he likes bar soap and he wanted the Irish Spring. So, I got him the Moisture Blast because at least get some moisture in your skin, bro. Uh, we got toilet paper. I prefer this toilet paper. It is comparable to Charmin. I really like it. It's affordable. I think it's like 11 bucks for the 12 Mega Rolls, which are equal to 48 I always grab these when we're out. Um, it's just a 12-pack of ramen noodles. You never know when you're going to need them. I don't know if I said this, but I got a gallon of 2% milk. I also got a 12 pack of regular Coke. I meant to grab the Coke Zero, but I have regular Coke and I'll drink it. The only other thing I can't show you is the oil for my car because Greg already took it outside. Uh, it was Pennzoil. It was like, S. it's like full synthetic 05W or something like that. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so that's my groceries. I spent 206. That was with everything. I will say this though, like, okay, your prices have gone up, but I had to ring myself up, bag up everything and like do half the job myself. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get these groceries put up and then I don't know what I'm gonna do next, but I'll tell you when I know. Axel's relaxing on the new ottoman and this is what we're having for lunch. French bread, pizzas, and wings. Greg made it with my Dr. Pepper. This is extremely unhealthy, but I am very excited to eat it while we watch a new show we started watching on netflix um it's called i'll show it to you guys i will say the worst part about sitting in this part of the couch is i have a very big glare come stand right here so you can see the glare i'm talking about let's do a full switch. you know what you could do to fix it also guys let's get tell the, the sun to go away so we can get a bird's eye view um so what we're watching is black summer it's really good. We like it. If you're into like zombies and stuff, which we didn't know that's what it was when we started watching it, but it's really good. I honestly forgot that I was filming, but I just got done changing the laundry out, hanging up clothes that I don't put in the dryer. And then I also was working on the tumbler that I'm on. So this is my very first time working with epoxy and I covered this tumbler. It's a peekaboo tumbler. I just covered it in epoxy. And I'm going to let it spin for another few hours. I got this turner off Amazon. I've never let it spin for like hours. So like hopefully it's okay if it does. Um, but yeah. So it doesn't look as dull as it did now that I put the epoxy on. 
and then once it's dry I'll see if I need to do another coat or not I did a pretty thick first coat mostly because I didn't really know what I was you know doing but um yeah and then I also want to work on some other epoxy items later but I want to let this have time to do its thing so then I can move it out of my way but I'm gonna make some keychains um some zodiac sign keychains so um comment down below let me know what your zodiac sign is um yeah I also need to work on blinging my Ursula later I have lots of items that um Remember this all used to be unicorn, but now this is all stuff for my shop. And then this is stuff for the shop mixed with some unicorn. I've got to really go through here and reorganize soon, but for now it's working. Tumblers that I got in, trash, I need to organize. So yeah, my little work area, my office honestly is a mess because like I work here for my job, but like everything else is just like a mess. Also, my dogs are at my butt so bad that look, he's laying here waiting. And I had someone ask in another video what this cord is. So originally, hold on. Sorry that the TV is so loud too. Greg listens to the TV very loud. So originally we all went work from home because of COVID and it, you know, we know, did not know how long we were gonna be here. We thought it was going to be temporary. So I had to have, um, so before that, the internet was hooked up when we bought this house and our guest room, that's where the router is because the people said that it would be better because we watch TV the most out there and all of that. So that is where it was. So when we came work from home, I had to get this huge ethernet cord to run all the way from that guest room down the wall into my office. And then now it's permanent and I just haven't paid to have them come back out and change it. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. And I don't know that I wanna spend $300 right now just to get them to move the router, if that makes sense. So for now, that's what that cord is. It's a really long ethernet cord because I work from home and I work back here in the house. So I decided I'm gonna make some Lucky Charm like Rice Krispies. I got these marshmallows from Dollar Tree, uh, Lucky Charms, I'm gonna need some butter. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and melt my butter. And I got the description, um, or I got the recipe off Pinterest. I need some vanilla extract. There's seven cups of Lucky Charms, and then I'm going to be using big and small marshmallows. So I'm just going to keep melting this butter down. And then I'm going to add in marshmallows and give that a nice stir. Um, I used big marshmallows, but then I also did pour in some of the smaller marshmallows as well, just because I wanted a little bit of extra marshmallow. So I'm just going to keep stirring it till my marshmallows are melted. Um, and then once everything's melted, oh, I'm boiling eggs from my tuna salad that I forgot to film. Uh, once everything's melted, you just mix it all together and press it down. And this is what it looks like. And then you just let it sit. Uh, again, I'll put the recipe in the description box. Okay, so I just tried the Lucky Charms little treats I made. I will say I probably should have used parchment paper and not wax paper because they kind of stick to it, but they're really good. They taste delicious. The ooey gooeyness. So good. Just wanted to share with you the final product. This is my cup. You can see how beautiful it looks in the sunlight. Remember, I have an Etsy shop. Everything's available there. It's in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching this vlog. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.